Libra, happy new year, happy 2020. I hope you're doing well. I have added a little tiny segment here, okay? We're gonna go through this really quickly so we can get to your regular spread that we do here on the channel. Um, these are kind of just holiday colored cards I thought was kind of fun to do. And plus, it'll be useful so we can pick up any kind of past energies and then see what happens after that. Now, keep in mind, you can be at different times of your storyline. Um, I'm sure you know if you know how to watch general tarot readings. So, if you're looking for the regular spy spread, feel free to skip this segment. Like I said, I'm gonna go through this quickly. And also, guys, I've been doing a whole bunch of Reiki treatment on myself because um, I'm getting over something. So my voice is a little off, bear with me here. Thank you for your patience, by the way. All right, guys, this is what we have in the overall. We have the master card, okay? Um, this is like a devil type energy. That's kind of um, pretty intense immediately, okay? And then we have this nine of water energy. I feel like there was a very vulnerable situation here in your past, because this is a past energy spread, right? Where um, you could have felt unhealthily tied to something. There's an unhealthy situation here. It can be any type of um, addiction or vice, whatever the case, okay? Um, it can just be an unhealthy, like a codependent situation with a person. Um, and this put you in a very vulnerable situation. You could have felt like you didn't know what to do. You might have felt trapped, quite honestly. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, this voice, you know. I'm going to place this exactly how this came out. So you could have felt trapped. Um, the rest of these cards are kind of interesting. So in a good way. We get the crown chakra, and I find it interesting too that you get two chakra cards, because that's um, pretty rare, okay? We get the crown chakra and the crone card and a justice type of energy here, which I mean, hello, that's Libra energy. I always see your energy in your reads for some reason. Okay, so with the crone energy and the justice card, I feel like something may have dawned upon you where you kind of realized where a path was headed here. And because of this, even though there are a lot of emotions tied up in this situation, it's almost like a change had to happen. And this is accepting that. This is looking at the bigger picture, especially with the chakra card here, and needing to make adjustments because of wisdom that is gained, okay? So someone, this is you, clearly, you're gaining a type of wisdom and foresight and kind of like, you know, I'm wiser now. I realize where this is headed. I need to make a decision. No matter how painful, this is something that kind of needs to happen, okay? So I feel like you could have um, started off on a path here to make changes to a situation that was very inhibiting, okay? Growth was also inhibited here. We have release, an ace of wands type of energy. Beautiful colors. I love this card. Oh my gosh. Um, ace of wands. I'm sorry. This is ace of swords type of energy and a healing card. That is a major arcana card here too. You're getting a lot of major arcanas in this little deck here. Um, almost all of them actually minus two. So major, major shifts, big things that kind of change your uh, life's purpose, your life's route, not your purpose, but your life's route, where you're headed, things that um, life lessons basically that you take with you. This is a big deal. We have in the past energy, this release card, which is a kind of like, uh, oh, thank thankfully this is happening, right? Thankfully, we're able to release this kind of entrapment. It's like an entrapment. And here's the Ace of Swords and the healing card. It's like needing to cut away this situation, needing to let it go in order for your healing purposes, for you to maintain your health here, emotional, physical, and otherwise, okay? And we have the Throat Chakra and the Self card, and then this really strong intuitive energy card here. So this is you um, coming into yourself, realizing what you are, what you're worth, your self-worth is flying through the charts here. Uh, you're making peace with yourself. You're accepting the situation for what it is, what it was, and its place, okay? And this is a lot of learning, situ uh, a lot of learning energy from this. It's accepting that this kind of had its place, had its time, and you're, um, you're moving forward 
with yourself intact. And if anything, you're actually blossoming and blooming because of this. Some of you may actually have very strong intuitive capabilities because of this too. Or perhaps that, you know, you've decided to go silent on a situation and kind of preserve yourself. So you could have gone silent from somebody or a, a situation here, okay? To preserve yourself. Very strong, very, very strong, guys. So this is what's happened self energy and intuitive energy okay this is also um having conversation about this with somebody and then kind of preserving self because of it so some of you could have actually had conversation about this all right let's get into your regular spice spread my dear libra i really hope my voice will last this Spirit, let the voice last, please. Okay, Spirit, what do we got for my Libras? <clears throat> please. Spirit guides. Allow me to guide Libra. Oh, if you will shuffle. With the messages that Libra most needs at this time. What messages does Libra most need at this time? What do we have for my dear Libras? Libra, woo, oh my God. Is somebody back around who's been watching you? I feel like you had this a couple readings back, guys. That is the prey card. I will go over it in one sec. Let's get another energy if we can. Spirit, is there anything else you can tell us? What else is going on in Libra situation? Wow, okay. <laughs> What's going on for Libra, please? witness ah oh my gosh okay oh this is super intense guys what is going on in your lives we have the thirst card craving compulsion obsession a two and a one is three in numerology thirst guys thirst okay oh gosh pray Stalked, invaded, and watched. Three and one. That is a number four, guys. Wow. Witness. To know. Personal evidence. To speak out. A number two and nine is an 11. Wow. You guys, uh... Some of you, either you have someone who's really thirsting after you, wanting to make a connection with you, or you feel this way about someone or something else in your environment. I do recall, though, in your previous reads that there has been an energy of somebody who's been kind of um, watching you, seeing you grow, seeing you flourish, and not having a place in your life anymore, okay? Now... That could be it for some of you, but this is definitely a lot of silent energy. So it feels like there's somebody who is really after someone, and it does feel like quite an obsession and quite the desire here. And this feels kind of um, silently. Now, the reason that I say that is because both of these cards are kind of like watching from a distance or kind of... It feels this way in your reading, at least, that from a distance that somebody's watching someone, maybe looking people up online, this kind of energy, like the spy kind of energy, right? Um, and then we get the witness card. So some of this may come to light. Someone is, Someone could decide to speak up about this. Something is going to be made clear. There's conversation now. So somebody knows something or somebody has been watching and desiring, okay? And now we have information that is coming out regarding this. Libra, let's try this again. That was cutscene. We had some strange interference in the audio as well. I've already done your read, but we have to start over. Um, don't worry, I've cleansed everything. Don't worry about that, okay? We are blessed up here. Okay, what do we have for Libra? So we're talking about a situation here, Libra, where somebody has some something to say, okay? There's conversation about a formerly secret situation. This is what it feels like. It feels like there's someone who knows something. And there's also, it feels like an energy of a bystander 
or a silent I, I always feel when I see like these two cards together it sounds like sounds like maybe <laughs> sounds like silent witness silent witness which makes me feel like high priestess energy which is to me that can be a silent party I call high priestess energy um silent party sometimes okay let's see what do we have for Libra? What is this situation about? And then we will um, do the two sides. This is about, wow, someone who feels like they've lost a situation here. They've lost a family situation. They've lost a home. They've been shut out. This can be a repeating type of energy or someone who is juggling with the two of pentacles, okay? And now someone is feeling real sad about it. Page of Wands, this is conversation about it. So confession, someone is coming clean, okay? Or someone needs to come clean here. Someone could be really shutting someone out. What else is going on here, please? What's going on here? Someone, Libra, someone in your environment can be sad that they're being shut out of a literal home as well, okay? A home. And finances. Wondering how to manage financial situations when it comes to this, guys. Spirit, what else? Anything else? What's going on over the for the situation for Libra? Please. What's going on for my Libra? Spirit? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Just kidding. Hello, are you there? Spirit. Come on now. Anything? I feel like that's what that is. Here we go. Wow, and now my computer screen is doing weird stuff. Oh, wow, guys. This is intense stuff, guys. Yeah, there's a family situation. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Magician here. Um, the Chariot, there could be something that feels distant or literally is distant. Someone is uh, perhaps wanting to start a new home situation, guys, with the Magician and the Ten of Pentacles, okay? This is somebody who doesn't know what to do with a home situation as well. It feels like this is up in the air with the Two of Pentacles. That's what I'm going to say about this. And Chariot, this is Cancerian energy. That's what I got so far. Okay. Let's see what we got for my Librans. Is that how you say that, guys? All right, let's see Libra, please, Spirit. Um, left side is Libra. For the sake of this read, Partner A. Right side, I'm going to call partner or love interest can relate to other areas of your life, okay? Like other relationships, other situations. Um, I've heard like neighbors, friends, what have you. Can be vice versa and can go back and forth. I trust that if this resonates with you, Libra, if this is your story, you should be able to easily identify your energies as well as the energies that are around you, okay? Thank you guys for bearing with me throughout my slight illness here and the technical difficulty prior okay we have justice well hello libra um some of you may be dealing with a legal type of situation for me the queen of wands can often be a um a mother or a wife situation now this is could be you trying to make something right with your home as well and you're also charged up to do so Queen of Wands is very, very confident, Libra. You're coming out with this strong confidence and this desire to be able to make things yield to your desires, okay? So you're you're in some type of energy. It almost feels like this magician, okay? It feels like you have a lot of emotion behind something and you're channeling it to make a situation balanced or right here, okay? That's what it feels like. Um, that's my Aries card. It can be another fire sign in your environment. It doesn't have to be. Now show me partner or love interest here, please. Ooh. Two of cups. There is a connection here. Ooh. A connection that possibly feels like war. Okay. <laughs> love and war. We have the two of cups and the five of wands, guys. It can feel like competition. And here's the two of pentacles against. There could be a situation where there's like juggling a situation. Here's another queen, the queen of cups, okay? And the king of pentacles. I have to be honest, this king of pentacles did come up in your reading. So I feel like this could be a, someone very prominent in this reading as well, okay? The king of pentacles for me is an earth energy. I call it Taurus, can be another or someone exhibiting this energy. Okay, now show me Libra, please. 
Here we go. There you go. So you're fighting for something that's right here. Uh, someone could be given to two. As you can see here with the six of pentacles, we have two hands and they're both receiving from the same person. This could have to do with legal proceedings as well and whether or not they're fair and someone having to pay out here and there could be conflict surrounding this. Um, for the most part in this reading, I'm going to say that it looks like there is a struggle in a love situation where there can be more than one person involved and someone is feeling very sad and regretful remorseful because they're losing a situation here involving a home it looks like and the two of wands is having to make a decision how to move forward what to invest in what to put energy in regarding hierophant a relationship and or someone with taurus in their chart okay long-standing relationship yep things are up in the air right now guys or it can feel that way <clears throat> okay so you got some conflict on your hands here, Libra, and you're ready to fight for what you believe in, it looks like, regarding a home situation and perhaps this King of Pentacles, which we're seeing again, this Taurus energy. Okay, wow. It's putting an end to the past here, a past home situation. We have, we have Scorpio and the Ten of Cups. Okay. So you could be ending something with any of these signs that we've listed here, these two signs I listed, or it's just ending a situation. It doesn't have to be those signs, okay? Because we have the Six of Cups, the Death Energy, and the Ten of Cups. This is um, a renewal of a home situation by ending a past home situation, okay? Does that make sense? All right. Let's see for a partner or love interest here. And also, someone could be really reminiscing and kind of in their headspace about the memories of a home situation and feeling sad about that as well. That's something with the Six of Cups there. It's memories. It's like fond memories, home memories, sweet memories, okay? What does this partner be, please? Show me partner B, please. Ace of Swords. All right, there's a decision here, guys. Ace of Cups, hello. All right, a decision in love. Somebody has to make a decision someone someone's love is being threatened here and i also feel this decision has to do with because we keep seeing the two of pentacles and the two of cups someone is making a decision in love guys and one can be being cut out here there is strife between you libra and this partner or love interest here it feels like more than just two people are involved. I mean, I know I, I know I'm saying that there may be a silent party because it feels like the the fight or the conflict can be involved with more than just two people in a relationship as well. You know what I'm saying? Where someone feels like someone is kind of butting in. I don't know. And maybe that's just one person. It just feels it feels that way. I got that. Okay. So we have conflict and we got to do something to end this fight. This is what it feels like okay now show me libra show me libra please what's going on for libra i don't know what's up with all these um readings lately guys there's several other signs that had this so intense i feel like yours is very very intense libra um let's see libra please Libra, please. Spirit, what do we got? All right, we got the Knight of Wands. <clears throat> and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, things could be changing with the fire sign here. It doesn't have to be. It looks like there could be, okay, yeah, a player type of energy with this Knight of Wands, unfortunately, to say. Um, normally, Knight of Wands doesn't have to be that, but in this reading, it really looks like it can be a flighty type of energy. And this is also someone acting before they think too much, okay? Because there's so much energy behind it. It could also be the case that somebody was quiet for so long that it kind of just bursts, okay? Yeah, and then there's news about this. So there's something changing, guys, in a home situation. This can be a marriage. Um, this is a marriage card with the Four of Wands. Venus and Aries also, okay? And the Capricorn energy, the devil, um, involving a silent party. Wow. High Priestess. All right, let's see. Partner or love interest here. Or secrecy. It doesn't have to be a silent party. It really feels like it. Um, for some of you, it's just that somebody has been really holding in a lot of stuff that they needed to say that was been bothering them for some time. I mean, it could be several things going on, quite honestly. <clears throat> okay, show me partner or love. 
All right, we got Sagittarius energy here. Maybe somebody's ending it with a Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be. We have death and temperance, all right? Uh, this is an end to a relationship, guys. And so the Ace of Swords is signifying an end to a relationship. It feels like somebody still wants to put work into this, though, especially with the Ace of Pentacles and the temperance, okay? Um, it feels like partner B here still... Maybe it's partner B. It can be vice versa. It looks like partner B here still considers wanting to put work into a relationship, even though things are changing here. Uh-huh. Yeah, because they're feeling shut out with that five of pentacles here, guys. Five of pentacles. And feeling really sad and remorseful. Five of cups. Mm, oh, no. And it's about um, probably a reconciliation here with the three of cups. Let's get another deck, guys, because I feel like... I just feel like... <laughs> okay. That's just what I feel. Okay, let's go classic real quick. Okay, can we clarify, please, the Queen of Wands and the Five of Wands, please, for Libra side? Libra, you are really behind what you're doing here, huh? You, I feel like it's almost like something has to change. Something does. Um, Queen of Wands and Five of Wands, please, Spirit, for Libra. Oh, what was this? Emperor, there you go with that Aries Scorpio energy. Mars, this is a lot of fighting energy, guys. Ooh, and the Nine of Wands. You got fire all over this, Mars all over this. You're just kind of... There's hesitancy, anxiety, because maybe some of you are worried about facing something or someone is worried about facing you. This is very strong energy. I could see that, you know. Okay, what is this Five of Wands and Knight of Wands about? Holy moly. <laughs> the Eight of Pentacles. We saw that again right here. So let's see what this is about. Oh, wow. You guys have a... Um, someone is feeling bound to a connection here, guys. There's a couple things that this could be. Some of you are saying that there is a relationship here where somebody feels bound Okay, so let's just say Libra. Let's just say Libra, you're bound to a connection here and you want to break free of this with the two of cups that's going here. So you want to break free of this, this party, partner B here, okay? Um, and then there's a couple ways that could go too, but let's, let's try to keep this simple. So you're trying to break free of a situation here or that someone is trying to start a new beginning with a physical relationship and there could be both of those things going on at the same time so there could be a new beginning with somebody who has like an, an immense desire like a physical chemical attraction okay wanting to see if you can put in work on a situation like that or someone is doing that okay and you know you could be breaking free because somebody was having a physical type of connection with somebody else let's see though Okay, what's this Five of Wands, Knight of Wands about for Libra, please? I don't know. There's something in the air lately, guys. Yep, the Tower. There's the Mars. Okay, so there's arguments. There's, um, yeah, the destruction here with this, um, this household situation, this long-term foundation. The Tower comes in and kind of shakes this up, guys. So the Tower can be quite a shock to some people involved. Um, whatever news breaks out here, there's changes, there's quick things, and, you know, a lot of um, fussing and fighting, strife, okay? Concerning the Seven of Swords. Yeah, there's some secrecy here, guys. Okay, show me what is going on with this Two of Cups, this Ace of Cups. Partner, love interest, B-side. What is this about? The Nine of Wands. Wow, they are kind of afraid here of you, Libra. Um, I feel also they don't want to give up. They're, but they're on the defense, though. Yeah, they don't want this ending, even though it's there. Someone's been betrayed. Someone feels betrayed. They're guarded. This partner love interest here is guarded. Remember earlier we pulled the Emperor and this Nine of Wands came out? It's saying, like, they are kind of afraid of the energy that you're carrying here, Libra. I mean, you're out to make a, make a change here regarding this commitment. Yeah. Mm hmm. What is this Ace of Swords death temperance about? What is this about? 
The King of Cups. Okay, yeah, there's that Scorpio energy. Someone could be ending a relationship with a Scorpio um, or because of a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. It could be a water sign. It doesn't have to be. It could just be someone embodying this energy. Oh my gosh, here it is. It's twice. See, the death energy, the death energy, and this, this person. Something is ending with this person. Um, you can be dealing with one of this person, like a water sign energy. You don't have to be. Whatever the case, the situation is changing here, okay? So this person is guarding their emotions as well. And maybe they're feeling um, put on the spot for a situation. Holy moly! How about this? Really quick. Oh, no. Let's, let's clarify in a sec, okay? Um, what is this emperor and tower about, please? This is definitely... See, there's tower with this person. So there's an end with this person and then the, the death with this person as well to a relationship where there's still a desire to want to work on something. I really do feel that, that somebody may want to try and work something out. It's just not looking good right now, I suppose. And when I mean good, it just means it doesn't look like it's going in that way, okay? What is this emperor and the tower about, please? Emperor tower, clarify, please. Emperor tower. Um, this is ending something with an emperor energy, which is like a spousal or a parental type energy. Hermit. Yep. There it goes. And the past. All right. So for some of you, there's probably a very rare amount that I'm going to say this for, but some information from the past has like come up. Okay. And this is also causing a problem, maybe from quite some time ago. Now for some of you, um, wow, you're retreating with this hermit energy. There could be kids involved. Um, someone is investigating a past as well. So we could be uh, looking into someone's past. Maybe that's how this happens. So there's lots of blow ups, um, perhaps an argument and then a retreat here, guys. That's what this feels like. Okay, show me this nine of wands, this king of cups, partner love interest here. Whoa, the wheel of fortune. And the ace of pentacles. Oh man, oh my goodness. So somebody has an opportunity for the situation for it, to, for a new beginning, for a new, a new beginning with this Ace of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, oh, also this is Virgo energy. So somebody could be ending it with a Virgo or an Aries Scorpio as well. And now it looks like, because remember I said this, partner 11 just may want to put in work for some of you, there's someone coming up right after this ends and there's somewhere else to invest energy into. Just saying, okay? Let's see if, yeah, let's do, um, let's do this. Let's say what's happening for Libra after this? What's happening for Libra? Possible outcome for Libra, please. Your nine of wands, okay. Nine of wands. Okay. Okay. There is a a knight of cups apology type of offer for um, secrecy here and for the family situation, but it looks like you, you're kind of um, leaving this behind right now. Okay. Mm, we got Pisces Cancer here too, by the way. If that matters, it doesn't have to. This is just being guarded and someone wants to make something right and it feels like someone is just too unsure and too um, too much secrets. It's just, just what it feels like. Okay. Um, let's find out what's going on with this King of Cups though. Show me this king of cups energy whoever this is show me king of cups it's like they want something to change they're feeling sorry okay some of you it's because of drinking that there's a situation going on here and they're missing you libra there you are with the queen of swords they're feeling 
they are missing you. They might be being shut out from you. They possibly want to change the situation around, especially with the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Pentacles. But you're kind of retreated here. Okay, you kind of retreated. They're missing their family situation, um, their home life with the Four of Wands. You see the, the Five of Cups and the Queen of Swords is Libra. To Libra, you could be like, you know what, no more. And then they're kind of um, regretful. They're sorry, whatever the case. What's the possible outcome? Wow. Okay, Hermit, possible outcome. <laughs> Here it is. Okay, you're probably retreating. Look, the justice. You're probably just going to retreat for some time. You feel like that's the right thing to do. Maybe get your um, mind straight, your feelings straight. Somebody, somebody feels that way, that maybe there's just a lot of tempers flaring for the time being, okay, to see if um, perhaps you feel like you need to heal up or something. Um, hmm. Okay, possible outcome between the two parties here, but I feel like it was that, though. It was a hermit, so for the time being, that's what that is. Just saying anything else, possible outcome. Yeah, somebody's leaving a situation. The Eight of Cups, guys. Eight of Cups. And the, there it goes. The Death Energy again. And the Nine of Swords. Okay. Oh, wow. Here we go with the Water Energy. Now, we have the Queen of Wands. And this is how you showed up. I feel like there could be... I got every sign here, but I'm just going to say that there feels like there could be a water sign and a fire sign involved somehow. Um, the last reading, it was a heavy earth sign energy, so I don't know. It, it could be anybody really, but it, it just feels like there's, well, obviously there's an ending, just saying. That's just what we're looking at, okay? Holy moly. Ugh. All right, well... Interesting here. Okay. I'm trying to see if there's anything else we could ask. Hmm. Let's go to the what you can expect spread. Yeah. Yikes, guys. Yikes. That's no fun, huh? Absolutely not. No way. Okay, let us get any messages from Spirit, how to best deal with this situation. Wow, so the truth is being spoken, guys, and now there's some change to be had. Okay, all right. Maybe moving involved because we saw a few energies that could indicate that. So, advice, guidance, please. Please be clear, Spirit. What do we have for Libra, how to best deal with this situation? What can we expect moving forward? Advice, guidance. What can we expect? Advice, guidance, or what can we expect, please? For Libra. Advice, guidance, what can we expect for this situation? Oh, compromise. That's your card, Libra. That's like a justice type of energy. So if somebody wants justice, somebody wants something to be right, to go in your favor. It might go in your favor here. Look with the compromise. That's your card. Let's see. For Libra, please. You know, and this is also you doing what's right for you. What's going on for my Libras? I don't even know how many people this reading is going to resonate with. It's intense. Can't be that many, can it? Oh, I guess it could. Take action to compromise. Oh, okay. Let go. Let go. Somebody wants to let go, maybe feel like, you could feel like this is the right thing to do right now. That's what you want to do, probably a situation, let go of a situation and um, to take action and it feels like the right thing to do is what we're getting here. That's what it feels like to somebody. It feels like this is what needs to be done, okay? That's what it's, it's almost like maybe somebody doesn't necessarily want to, I don't know who would want to, to be honest, but that they kind of have to. Okay, it's the principle, I guess. It's the principle. Let's see. Yeah, it's the principle. That's what I heard. What is going on here? Advice, guidance. So take action to compromise is also maybe if something is uncomfortable to try and see things in a different way, which really at the end of the day, you have to do what's right for you. I'm sure you know that. So 
healing family issues. That's probably what the compromise is about. Now, some of you, it can be because of a court situation. Free yourself. Yep, we get let go and free yourself here. Finances and career, definitely. Remember we said something about a payout or whatever the case. So some of you may be, may be needing to uh, settle this in court or somebody's in court and figuring out like pay, okay, finances or how to split finances for those of you that were in a more long-term type of situation here, okay? Um, if you, you're freeing yourself. It's time to take back control of your life and healing family issues here. So it feels like for you, Libra, that you feel best and it would heal the situation in order to remove yourself um, or somebody feels this way, okay? To free yourself from some type of drama here. And this is the action you may be wanting to take. And I find it interesting that both of these cards are unicorns. You see that? And they're both kind of um, taking action to free the self here. And we have let go. Uh, now, some of you, you may need to let go of a financial issue for now and it might work itself out basically or maybe just now is not the time because it seems like there are pressing matters here guys other pressing matters oh man Woo. Hmm. all right well let's see advice guidance for libra please holy moly got two cards no matter where I am, I am home, the goddess of sanctuary. No matter where I am, I am home. The most sacred, sacred sanctuary is found within me. No matter where I am, I am home. The most sacred sanctuary is found within me. So it feels like an energy where you're kind of like, you know, um, my home situation may be changing or someone's is, but no matter what, I'm I'm at home with myself and I can still make a home out of any type of situation. It's like a homemaking type of energy is what I'm feeling and feeling comfortable and at peace with the self or needing to, okay? Needing to. Our Lady of the Hermits. Wow. Wow. Oh, in your reading earlier, I had another card that was saying something very similar to this in the end of it. It was transforming um, suffering into love. And here it is again. It was the Kuan Yin card, actually. And this is, I transform pain and suffering into a greater capacity to love. Wow. And this is all about a home situation. Clearly, clearly this reading is about a home situation, some kind of long-standing situation. And taking the pain and suffering and turning it into love. And that is a very, um, very advanced thing to do, okay? But definitely because perhaps someone was feeling just, this was the message prior, that somebody was feeling too much suffering in a situation. And so basically that leads to needing to make a change. And that's kind of what this was about, Okay. The diamond-hearted Dakini, Dakini, <laughs> what did I say? The, I see light, I see the light in my own darkness. I face my ego beliefs to feel free. Wow, I see the light in my own darkness. I face my ego beliefs to feel free. This is conquering your shadow side. Everybody has a shadow side. Everybody has duality within them, okay? And um, this is being able to see both sides of a situation being able to understand both sides and a lot of this is reminding me of this compromise energy okay um accepting the self accepting the good and bad of the self and nothing is necessarily good and bad it just kind of is in the spiritual realm you know what i mean so definitely someone could be having to face their ego here and this could be really hard on the self like perhaps if someone doesn't their values didn't align with the situation having this kind of drama or feeling like, oh, you know, this kind of stuff has no place in my life and then suddenly it happens. It can be very shocking to somebody. You know, this is what it feels like. It feels like somebody needing to reconcile something bad that's happened is what I'm trying to say here and transforming the pain and suffering into love in some way, a shape or form, okay, of love. And it always starts with the self just saying okay so we're freeing ourselves here we're letting go got a lot going on guys to be honest and i wish you the absolute best 
thank you for hanging out with me and bearing with me throughout all this and my weird illness I'm getting over and healing myself from with the Reiki and stuff <laughs> um, and the technical stuff that's going on. I love you guys. I wish you the absolute best. I hope to see you next time. Kisses. Bye.